What's up everybody? Staying here from Rocky Creek. Sometimes a man's just gotta get down with some leggings. Let me show you what I'm about to do with some of these women's pantyhose. Let's go. We're gonna go down here and spend some time in the garden. Let's just check on everybody. We've already done more than feeding. We'll do our afternoon feeding here after a little bit. So I haven't quite moved old red and well, the other Wellsomer doesn't have a name. I haven't moved them in with everybody yet, but I've been letting them out each day and letting them free range, which that's kind of allowing them to be around some of these guys. And they're starting to get used to them as they're seeing them more and more. Henry, Olivia, y'all doing all right? What's up, buddy? You been good? Olivia, y'all pretty calm today. Y'all must be tired. Y'all must have partied all night last night. Well, Henry and Olivia, they just like to get down. Now see, I got my car backed up right here. I just had to bring back, we brought back about 300 pounds of feed between the chickens and the pigs, so that's why that's there. Got all that unloaded this morning, you know. I'd like to film a lot more and to go over a lot more little things like that, but you know, just right now, man, we just got so much going on. I just, I can't do, can't film all those little things, so I just got to pick and choose what well, little bit I do want to show y'all so we can make sure we're still giving y'all content on a regular basis. Let's go check on Mater, see what he's doing. I think it's safe to say he likes his house. Sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to wake you up. You going back to sleep. What's up, brother? You sleep good on these nice, cool fall mornings, huh? I'm sorry I woke you. Your big nose. I guess I'm gonna have to get in there and at least give him a little bit of a rub since I woke him up. My man was sleeping pretty hard. Tomorrow is technically first day of fall, but it was in like the upper 40s this morning, and the highs today are like upper 60s. As you can see, got to break out my flannels. I love it when I get to wear my flannels. Since I did wake my man up, let me at least get up in here, give him a little bit of a scratch because he's gonna want at least a little something. What are you eating on? You eating on the acorns that are falling? Well, I'll get you a bunch of walnuts here soon. You can eat those too. He's on my foot. Hope you enjoyed that. All right, brother, you get your rest now. We're gonna go play with some pantyhose. No matter how clean he is, you always run the risk of getting Cooney Cooney nose prints. All right, everybody looks like they're doing good. Let's go down and show you what we're gonna do with these pantyhose. All right, so here's my plan with the pantyhose. As you know, we ran our pumpkins on this trellis system. By doing this, some of these pumpkins are really high up off the ground. So like this one, you know, you can see it's probably three feet or so off the ground, um, if not closer to four feet. But then I get other pumpkins, such as this guy right here, who's growing and he's not quite at the ground, but he's really low to the ground. So he will probably keep growing and it won't put too much stress on here because eventually it'll be touching the ground or these vines are supported. As this one continues to grow, being so high off the ground, I need to provide some kind of support and stability. So that's what I'm gonna to try to use these pantyhose for, and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do that right now. So my plan is gonna be, I'm gonna tie the pantyhose here. I'm gonna bring it across the bottom and tie the other part here. Depending on how much stability I can get with the width of this hose, I may end up running a second one that's kind of more from the front side around and back up as it continues to grow. So that's what we're gonna to try to do. So you can see, I started the tie right there, brought it across and tied the other end right up there. And then what I did is, let's see if I can get you better light. On the bottom, 
I just kind of widen out the hose itself to give it some support. Now I've seen some where they actually put the whole pumpkin like kind of inside of the actual pantyhose, but these pumpkins, they're not huge, but they get good size. And these wouldn't be able to handle that. So this is just gonna be the best way with what I had here at the house for right now. And my plan is, is as this continues to grow, I'll keep adjusting this as need to be. But a lot of it is I'm just trying to keep a little bit of that weight up and off of this. So that way it doesn't end up breaking the stem and cause the pumpkin to die too soon. So we'll see how this goes. So far, this is the only one I have grown up really high. Um, the other one is pretty low to the ground. I'm not gonna be concerned about it, but I wanna go ahead and get it put up right now so we didn't have that issue. Taking care of today is the zinnias and the sunflower need to go. They're starting to put too much pressure on my electrical fencing and it's causing it to short out much faster and bring the battery down. So I need to go ahead and get those out now. They've done their job in terms of pollinators, but we're gonna get them pulled out. We're gonna let them dry out because we're gonna save some seeds, but I'm at least gonna get them cut and removed for right now. As you see, we got all that cleared out. Got the sunflower out. The ones on the outside, I will leave them as long as they're not touching the fence. I cut away what little ones were touching it. Um, I leave the roots in the ground if I can. I'll let those deteriorate and die off. Um, and then we'll till all that back into the ground anyways. Um, as you can see, our tomato plants still doing really good. We got a lot of good red tomatoes that we've been picking like crazy. If I can get in here. As y'all can see, harvesting these beautiful red tomatoes now. I talked in previous video that I never would have thought, you know, we'd be mid to late September, almost into October before we'd have them all. But we've been picking in abundance. Um, we probably got every bit of 30 to 40 of them in the house right now. And there's still a huge amount out here. So we're very thankful that it ended up not becoming a waste and that it is going to be a good harvest when it's all said and done. So yeah, very pleased and very appreciative of these tomatoes that we're getting. Let's go up here. Let's give you an update on Lucky and see how he's doing in his new home. Y'all see the three ladies? Still hanging out with the pigs. Henry? Are those three ladies in here because they think you so cute? You know they're a chicken, right? And you're a pig. It's not going to work out. Sometimes love has no boundaries, I guess. As you can see, Lucky's doing great. He's moving around a lot. He's trying to use that second leg. If Chloe leaves him alone, we'll be all right. I would never let an animal live if I thought it was in pain without addressing it in some form or fashion. I think he just doesn't know how to balance on it yet. It's his problem. So, but other than that, Lucky's doing fantastic. He's enjoying his new home. I think this has worked out well. I can tell he wants in with those other chickens. Anytime I throw stuff in there or doing stuff with them, he wants in there so bad. So he's just going to have to learn to ride it out right now until he gets a whole lot better. So y'all just want to take some time today to share with you how I'm going to try to support the pumpkins on the trellis system. I was hoping we'd have more than two right now growing on that one particular line of them, but it's all we got right now, so we'll hope for the best. Like I said, we're kind of hands off with this garden for the fall just because of time's sake. So whatever I do get out of it, I'll be appreciative of it. The same will go for the squash though, the winter squash that we're growing. As they run up on trellises and they get bigger, if the squash plants start to get he heavy or, or don't seem like they're gonna support themselves, I'm gonna plan to support them the same way. So come along with us as they continue to grow and we'll let you know how well it works. Until then though, I'm gonna take this good looking tomato in the house and I'm gonna go ahead and have me a tomato sandwich. So until then, y'all be good. We appreciate y'all coming along with us. We appreciate y'all's continued support. Hope everybody's been doing well. And until then, as always, we'll see you here real soon on the next video. Y'all be good.